Welcome back, everybody. After months indoors, we're all itching to get outside, but that can put us into contact with tiny little pests like ticks. Our next guest, Shelly Ball, has had a very personal journey with ticks and Lyme disease. She has written an essay to follow a central guide called Lyme Disease, Ticks and You. She joins us this morning. Shelly, so good to see you. I know in 2019 is when you had a, a tick and you went to the ER and then what happened? You were misdiagnosed or improperly treated? Yeah, so uh, improperly treated. And, and unfortunately, my story is just a carbon copy of um, you know, just about all the stories that are out there. Um, so yeah, I had the a pulling gorge tick removed from my back in the hospital. And um, it's really unfortunate, but they just give you a prophylactic dosage of uh, doxycycline, so kind of one pill, and send you home. And I ended up getting really sick about three days later. And uh, yeah, I had to really fight for treatment. Um, oh got six antibiotics, and, that, and after that, it just kind of, uh, it went downhill. and. When the antibiotics were done, I just got so ill. Uh, I was non-functional and uh, it, Lyme has turned my life upside down. And unfortunately, this is far, far too common of a story, which is why I wrote the book. Why is there a surge? I feel like we're seeing one. Yeah, I, you know, it's a really good question and it's hard to know exactly, but uh, as a biologist, I'm sure that climate change is part of it. I mean. You know, I, I'm in um, Eastern Ontario in the Westport area, so halfway between uh, Ottawa and Kingston, and I grew up in Ottawa. Um, our winters are a lot more mild than they used to be. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what the evidence is suggesting is that uh, the ticks are dying off in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing more of them, we're surviving more. And then there's also data that show that the northward expansion of ticks is about 25 kilometers per year. Wow. So the, you know, the distribution of ticks is increasing, which increases our risk, right? And yet it's so important and crucial we get outdoors. It's one of the only things we can do safely right now. So let's talk about what we should be doing to protect ourselves from having a tick land on us in the first place. Absolutely. And, you know, there's a number of things that we can do. And, and what I would argue is that we have to adopt new habits, new, new daily habits. I mean, you know, I, I'm a, an environmental educator and uh, I refuse to hide inside, even though uh, Lyme has just made me horrendously ill and turned my life upside down. Um, we need to get outside, but we can do it safely. And there's a number of things that I talk about in the book. I think one of the most important is to use a repellent. And uh, where a lot of us who grew up in Ontario uh, use DEET, um, it's no longer sort of the preferred uh, product. There are uh, new repellents that have an a active ingredient in it called Icaridin, and I talk about this in my book. Um, you can buy the spray at the hardware store, uh, even the drugstore, and it works really well, and it's effective against ticks for 12 hours. So, you know, put the, the spray on, go out and endure, enjoy the outdoors, but when you come in, from enjoying the outdoors, the first thing that you should do is have a shower. So if a tick isn't plugged into you, biting, if it's just walking across you, the water will wash it off. It doesn't like water, so it'll drop off. And then while you're in the shower or maybe taking a swim or soak in the hot tub or whatever, just to wash the ticks off, um, stick your clothes in the dryer on high for 20 minutes, and that should kill any of the nymph ticks that are hiding out in your clothes. And one of the most important things is do a tick check. I do one two to three times a day. As soon as I come in from gardening, peel off, do the tick check, I do one before bed in case I've missed anything when I came in, but I also do one the next morning because if you miss a, a tick, uh, you know, during your, your evening tick check, you're more likely to find it the next morning. And, and I know this probably sounds like a lot, but these are the things that we need to do you know, to uh, protect ourselves. Shelly, thank you. This is uh, really important information. We wish you the best with your own journey and diagnosis. Thank you for being so forthcoming, and we need these tips right now more than ever. For more information, the book is called Lyme Disease, Ticks, and You. Sending you love. Thank you so much for sharing these amazing tips with us this morning. We wish you the very best. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. Coming up next, a story that is breaking everybody's hearts. Two children die after a crash in Vaughan on Sunday, and a 16-year-old boy is facing charges. The latest on this heartbreaking story and investigation right after this.